All right, YouTube, another video for you guys. I'm like not in frame. There we go. This is a new thing I'm trying out. I'm going to see if I can do this and get away from copyright bullshit. Uh, YouTube can suck my deep wang. All right, so today um, we're going to watch some court games. Uh, I wanted to watch some court stuff because I'm real. I, I like I like watching cop videos. I like watching court stuff. I like to talk about it and debate, and I like to laugh. Not debate. I like to talk about it and just dive into it. I think it's interesting shit. So come along for the ride. Literally, come along for the ride. So for the video I've got here is the top five moments of judges behaving badly. You bad. You you a bad judge. You bad judge. All right. Let's get into it. Look at this First bad the judge. Hamilton County Common Police Court in Cincinnati, Ohio. Ah, oh, fuck. It's Ohio. Here come the Ohio Commons. It's Cassandra Jackson. Hello, Cassandra. She's here today seeking a protection order. Okay. Often sought by domestic violence victims. Mm -hmm. Bars. Unfortunately, a court official is telling her that she missed the deadline and will have to come back. Mm -hmm. Jackson, a working mother, grows increasingly frustrated. The argument's loud enough to be heard in the nearby courtroom. So loud that Magistrate Judge Michael Bachman, who's presiding in the courtroom on the other side of these doors, could not hear an attorney question a witness. Okay. Jackson continues to plead her so, case. So does he reasonably hallway, leave? But is denied. Or go out there and tell her to stop? Or what happens? Jackson continues arguing before finally storming off. But Judge Bachman is unsatisfied and takes matters into his own hands. About 10 seconds after Jackson walks away, Bachman oh, leaves shit. the bench, chasing yo, her down the hall. He's, yo, man, yo, yo, he, yo, hold on, wait, wait a minute, yo, yo, he's fucking running. He's fucking running for her. Why? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, that's a, that's kind of crazy. Hold on. Let me move this up. Move this up here. Let me. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to make this look better. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. YouTube. Hold on. There we go. You guys are gonna be hidden. I'm sorry. You guys are behind the video now. Cry about it. Um. Okay. Wait. No. For real though. So. All right. Honestly, she could have just. Nothing in Ohio is reasonable. Um. Shit. I'm bordering. <laughs> Listen. Honestly, she could have. Like, I understand she's frustrated, but like, you don't have to. Like, I. I understand when you're frustrated, you know, it's one of those things, it's like, you don't really think straight, but like, you're kind of disrupting a, like, this is a, this is a place for justice, you know what I mean? Like, you're in a court, you know, just, just move, leave, come on, you don't, you don't gotta sit, come on, come on. But, no, the judge running out there storming at her like a fucking high school teacher is crazy. But Judge Bachman is unsatisfied and takes matters into he's his like, own nah, hands. He's like, nah, where the fuck this bitch at? About 10 seconds after where Jackson is he? Where is he? Hold on. He's, like, he's like, sick of tired of this Bachman goddamn bitch. Where the fuck the she at? Where the fuck she at? Huh? Where's she at? You! Yeah, you motherfucker. Get the fuck back over here, goddammit. Fucking yelling at that bullshit. I'm trying to do my goddamn court case. Get the fuck back over here. I'm he a fucking... Making me run on my old ass age. Get the fuck back over here, goddammit. Oh shit, she's bringing him... Oh, look at her now. Look at her now. Wait, wait, look at her now. Look at her now. Throw some hand, Your Honor. Look at her. Look at her. She's... Fucking looks like Wednesday Adams from the fucking show with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Jenna Ortega. <laughs> to the eventual outcome of this story. As they head toward the court, Jackson tries to turn down a hallway. Damn. That's when Bachman grabs Jackson's shoulder. Wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, huh, huh, huh? That's when Bachman grabs Jackson's shoulder. Mmm, I don't know about that one. You're a judge, you're not a cop. Hold on. Even as they enter the courtroom, Bachman still does not remove his hand. What the fuck? Whoa, Keep in mind, what? Jackson's in court today to file for a restraining order to protect herself and her children from an allegedly abusive relationship. Damn. Bachman orders Jackson into the jury box, then tells her she's about to be arrested for contempt of court. What the? F mm. But the insensitive treatment continues from the rest of the court staff. Two officers are brought in, and Jackson attempts to flee. Nah, that made it worse. You made it worse. You made it worse. Oh, shit. You made it worse. You. Oh, no. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing there, cop? 
Additional help's required to restrain Jackson. Ah, uh, listen. Oh, okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, I get it. She was disruptive in the courtroom. I understand that part. But she, um, but like, dude, I don't know, man. That that's a little weird, cause like, he, he, the judge is a little extra. That that's a little extra on the judge's part. Like, you don't have to go fucking grabbing her shoulder, leaning. Her, you don't got to do all that. Dude. You don't got to do all that. But, like, to fucking make her, like, to arrest her for... The contempt of court part I get, because she was being dis disruptive. I get that. But instead of, like, running out of your judge, you're run running out of your fucking... Really? In Sacramento? Damn. But, like, running out of, like, your, your courtroom, like, in the middle of your hearing that you're doing to arrest this woman, that's kind of... That, that's kind of weird, bro. Come on. Like, you, that's a little extra. Oh, Ohio. Okay. But he's eventually removed from the court in handcuffs. Bruh. Man, that's bullshit. Free her, bro. That's bullshit. Man, look at her. Like, she just... Uh, man, free her. She didn't do nothing the situation wrong. situation is taken to another level when Jackson's dragged to booking where formal charges are made. All this to get a fucking... Officers handcuff Jackson to a chair as she continues to resist. Nah, that's foul. After struggling with officers one more time, Jackson's strapped into a special chair and wheeled into holding. She'll Yo! Serve two days of a 10-day sentence after the presiding judge dropped the contempt charge and the rest of her sentence for good cause. Good, as that dude after should. Footage goes public of Bachman chasing after Jackson and putting his hand on her. Jackson files a civil suit against Bachman, and the magistrate's told he must either resign or be fired. Bachman Good, he chose resigned. to resign. If Bachman needs to enter a Hamilton County courthouse in the future, he must now do so as a private citizen. Damn. Nah, for real though, that's foul. Like, like, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna fuck all of that just so that she, she wanted to get a restraining order for somebody that she was in an abusive relationship with. And she got fucking put in a wheelchair. Fucking restraint. That's fucked. That's foul. Awful. Abuse of power. My fucking Next, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada oh, for a shit. child visitation hearing. Okay. Parents Wealthy and Rogerio Silva have been kind of fucking editing for three that? years and share custody of their 12 year old daughter oh, wow. who lives full time with her mother okay rogerio claims he's not getting his court-ordered visitation time and making matters worse mm. his ex-wife claims his daughter doesn't want to spend time with him mm. but before getting to the matter at hand oh, yeah. wealthy silva airs some grievances of her own against her ex-husband he has not paid child support uh it was november december and january that I did not get child support or alimony. Also, none of the medical or dental has been reimbursed ever, not one penny of that. Child support, if there are arrearages and medical, if there are arrearages, you need to file a schedule of arrearages and a motion, and I will hear it at the appropriate- Arrearages, the amount, hold on. Sorry, Chad, I need to know this. <laughs> I'm not smart. Uh, arrearages, the amount of money that is owed and should have been paid, okay. Appropriate time. Judge Rena Hughes seems ready to move past the issues unrelated to visitation, but wealthy As Silva she isn't finished. Medical and dental was filed. I remember, I believe it was five court dates ago. Ma'am, you are here. Submitted receipts, proper receipts. Keep your comments to yourself. Bars. The focus then shifts back to visitation as the judge attempts to schedule a dinner date for father and daughter the following week. What? February the 6th. That's week one, dinner night. What time? Rather than providing the judge an answer, Ruggiero's lawyer instead has a complaint. It's more than a, a week away from now. And I'm not taking argument right now. I uh, okay, I was with you. You had me in the first half, ma'am. You had me in the first half, right? I was like, okay. You know, she's trying to stick with the visitation. You know, she doesn't want to hear any of this other bullshit right now, which is fair. You know, you know, it's fine, whatever. But you're starting to get a little snappy. You, come on. You, you got to keep this shit professional. You're a judge. You're under oath. 
this case ad infinitum. I am entering orders. I expect them to be followed. I'm trying to accommodate both parties. We're not going to do this on a whim. What is this fucking prowler music? All right, good night to you. With her. Mom's going to tell her it's going to happen, and we're going to get prepared for it. What is this prowler music? Okay. What time? Uh, whatever's good for him. Five, six. What time? 6 p.m. But after the time is set, the child's mother has some major concerns. There we go. And when she refuses to go, um, what am I You'll to do? Because this is really not We'll be here on a motion to hold you in contempt. What the fuck? Is she going to have to ride in a car with him? Yes. Wow. You really care about my child, don't you? I want you to keep your mouth shut and sit nah, down. Nah, nah, fuck that, I Judge. I care about your child very much. You do not. Who the fuck do, do you talk. think you are? We need to have a trial. There's no need for a trial. Oh, there he is. Finally, the tension-filled silence is broken by a threat from the judge. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you're if make sure you're holding up the child. We will have a trial. Do you understand me clearly? You will lose custody. What? Wait, hold on. Back it up. I was reading the we'll chat. Hold on. By a threat from the judge. If there is contempt, and if there is withholding of the child, we will have a trial. Do you understand me clearly? You will lose custody. I'm streaming. Two months later, following additional. Why are you home early? I said, Why are you home early? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, love you too. I know. Oh, okay. Okay, I love you too. That was my girlfriend. You guys probably did not hear her. Uh, when somebody has a powerful job and they're pa yeah, for real. No, this is this is a fucking power trip. Yeah, my girlfriend just came home early because the roads are bad like that. I didn't even know they were like that. That like, damn. No visitation issues. The parents are back in court. This time. Now hold on, wait. I, I, I got distracted again. I'm sorry, wait. Chad. I'm sorry. You will lose custody. So she said you'll lose custody because of contempt. Contempt. Two months later, following additional visitation issues, the parents are back in court. This time with their 12 year old daughter. Oh, damn. But after starting the hearing, Judge Hughes gives an unusual order telling all the adults to leave the courtroom so she can speak to the child. What the alone. fuck? Around the same time, cameras in the courtroom are switched off. What? Nine minutes later, with her father now back in the courtroom, Judge Hughes awards. Oh, nah. That's actually crazy. I don't know about that, but like, that's crazy. You, you think you have that? No, I will never leave my child alone with a fucking judge, let alone a stranger like that. That's fucking crazy. Fuck that. Him temporary full custody, despite the child's wishes. Yeah, weather is apparently supposed to get real bad. You don't understand. I love her. And I'm gonna miss her so much. Please don't do this to me. I've made a decision for your best interest. How do you know my best interest? You I'm a grown-up and you're a child. When the girl continues to protest the decision... Please! I don't want to be with him. The judge threatens to send her to a children's shelter. If you have any difficulties, we'll go to Child Haven. It's not fun in Child Haven. In fact, they put you in a holding cell. What like the... Would be jail. At the same time, the girl's mother is not allowed to re-enter the courtroom and is charged with contempt for allegedly withholding visitation. Nah. I'm, I, if I hear my daughter crying like that, I'm running into the courtroom, bro. I don't care. I do not care if I need to fucking run in there and throw hands. I don't care if I'm going behind bars, bro. That's fucking... Yo, you're making my child cry like that? Fuck you. Get the fuck off, Get the fuck off that stand. You are not a judge. Fuck out of here. custody with that. fight was far from over. Following the hearing, the girl's mother filed a complaint bullying the little Nevada girl Damn. on judicial discipline, alleging her and her daughter's civil rights were violated by they judge were. Hughes. 
In response, the commission ruled that Judge Hughes did, in fact, violate judicial code and due process by holding the mother in contempt and not allowing her to be heard during the hearing. She was also accused of awarding the father custody as a punitive measure against the child's mother. What? The commission issued a public remand of Judge Hughes. Good. But the penalty would later be dropped. What? Following a successful appeal in the Nevada Supreme Court. Don't tell me she's still a judge. Ultimately, the parents were awarded joint physical custody of okay. their daughter. Okay. Wait, so she's... Yo, wait. No, 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 no. No, you mean to tell me that woman's still a judge? Hold on, wait. What's her name again? Wait. What's her name again? Allowing her to be heard during the hearing. She was also accused of awarding the father custody as... I want to know her name. I want I wanted to look up her name. child's mother. The commission issued a public remand of Judge Hughes. Public remand. But the penalty was oh, later Judge be Hughes. dropped. Judge Hughes. Judge Hughes. Hold on. Oh my God, she's still a fucking judge. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Wait, she was a judge. She faced public rep reprimand by a state commission on judicial discipline in 2018. So she's not a judge anymore. Was a judge for Department J of Nevada's 8th Judicial District Court Family Division. She assumed office in 2018. She left office on January 3rd of 2021. Let's fucking go. Fuck that bitch. Um, now, I'm assuming this was in 2018, this court case. So I'm assuming... That she was then she was then brought back as a judge, but then she was she was <laughs> the fucking applause. But then she was taken down in 2021. So thank God she's not a judge anymore. Holy shit! A successful Fuck appeal that. in Nevada Supreme That's Court. That's crazy. Ultimately, the parents. I would go to jail for my child if, if that judge made my my fucking. Took a small bit of outside freezing. I'll look at it in a second. I'll look at it. After Next, we're in La Plata, Maryland, for a jury selection. 25-year-old Delvon King is representing himself today on weapons charges after he was caught carrying a regulated firearm during a traffic stop. Okay. Just three months earlier, King was appearing at a preliminary hearing for the charges when he fled the courtroom and temporarily eluded police. Because of the fleeing incident, King is required to wear a remote control parent during a traffic stop. I, I, I want to get, get the full detail because I'm a little distracted. Hold on, Next, let's get we're in La Plata, Maryland for a okay. jury selection. 25-year-old Delvon King is representing himself today on okay. weapons charges after he was caught carrying a regulated firearm during a okay. traffic stop. All right. Just three months earlier, King was appearing at a preliminary hearing for the charges when he fled the courtroom and temporarily eluded police. Mm, okay. Because of the fleeing incident, King is required to wear a remote control stun cuff on his leg while appearing in court. Those exist? And now as he Damn. reads a prepared well, argument... Obviously, but like, yeah. Stop. 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 There seems to be another problem. At the bench is 72-year-old Robert Naylor. Who the fuck is this old Ronald Weasley looking ass? the fuck he looks like he belongs on like a dessert box you know what i mean he looks like the generic old like mascot for like a dessert like like a like a like a like a dessert you'd find it like a shop right you know what i mean like what who, who, who is this guy the judge retired the previous year but was called back part-time to hear cases mm -hmm. this hearing got off to a rocky start when king claimed to be a moorish american oh, an offshoot of the anti-government sovereign citizen movement Individuals who believe the law is illegitimate and answers only to their inner interpretation of the law. Oh, I know people like that. Okay. And insisted his true name was not Delvon King. The fuck? Now, as Judge Naley explains the jury selection process, King continues reading from his prepared argument, which questions the court's jurisdiction over him. Stop. 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 Mr. Sheriff, do it. Use it. Oh, my God. Yo! All right, I'm gonna take five. Don't, don't. Re Calm down, and I'll be back. Yes, sir. What the fuck? In case you missed that, 
after King refuses to stop speaking. Stop, stop. Judge Naley orders the courtroom deputy to activate the stun cuff on King's leg. What the hell? For what? Uh, Mr. Sheriff, do it. Use it. The deputy calmly approaches King, who doesn't appear to see him, and slides his chair out of the way. I mean, listen, I, I was about to say, why would you pull the chair away from him? But, like, I mean, I guess that's nice, you know, so he doesn't break his spine on the chair. But also, like, why the fuck did you tase him? Like, asshole. I mean, the judge did say. But also, like, why would you tase him? Because he's saying something that you don't agree with? Like, he's, he's, it's his fucking time to speak. He's representing himself. What the fuck? While that's King bullshit. rides in pain on the courtroom floor, Judge Naley decides to exit the courtroom and take a short break. All right, I'm going to take five. What the fuck? Following the brief recess, this is some like mafia Judge type Neely shit. You like beat the, the fuck out of the guy you're interrogating, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna take a five minute break. I'll be back, and then like you come back and beat the shit out of him some more. And King continued representing himself. Good shit. He later agreed to probation before judgment, meaning in his case, he was sentenced to two years in jail on the weapons charge, okay. most of which he'd already served, and in return, no actual conviction would be added to his record. Okay. The same cannot be said for Judge Robert Naylor. Oh, shit. After the courtroom video was made public, the Maryland Court of Appeals immediately rescinded Naylor's ability to hear cases. All right. Good, he would also later should. be charged with a misdemeanor civil rights violation, yeah, which he good. pleaded guilty, and was sentenced good. to a year probation, ordered to take anger management classes, and a pay a $5,000 fine. That's it? Following his sentence, Robert Naylor was banned from the bench for life good at, le at least he was banned like that bro but like wait damn okay all right well, well, I damn. Personally see only a year you never see a free day in your life next we had to family court in putnam county west virginia for a divorce hearing west virginia wait man oh shit hold on Man, mama, take me home, country road. That's not really right. It's not really tuned correctly, but country road, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home. Road. Anyway, enough of that. The parties are Arthur Haig, a church pastor, and his estranged wife, Lillian. The okay, judge Lillian. is William Watkins III. Look at cat hair. At issue is Haig's refusal to sign a deed which would allow his wife to sell their home. Mm -hmm. But before things get started, Judge Watkins has a Travis. stern warning for Haig. Mr. Haig, if you say one word out of turn, you're going to jail. Do you understand me? The fuck? Yes or no? Judge Watkins is angry with Haig because he believes the pastor revealed personal information about him through the media. Okay, okay. After we closed here, you went out there and talked to a reporter. This morning, I now see an article with a picture of my home. My home. Surprise. This old man belongs in a cod lobby. You hear that, Mike? Holy shit. Turn your gold to jail. Do you understand me? Yo. Yes or no? Judge Watkins is angry with Haig because he believes the pastor revealed personal information about him through the media. After we closed here, you went out there and talked to a reporter. This morning, I now see an article with a picture of my home. My home. Surprise. Right. That's how you speak. Damn. My wife is disabled. She's there. He's fucking. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the right one? No, it's this one. Okay, so. No, it's this one. My wife is disabled. How fucking dare you, like. God damn. Um, and you. You, you sent in pictures of my home. Jesus. Holy shit. You put up a 
God picked you in my house, I swear to you, I'm holding you personally responsible for anything that happens at my house. I promise you. I, I, I mean... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. All, all the guy did was talk to a fucking media source about how you were as a judge or, like, the court receding. And all they did was send their fucking cameramen and took a picture of your house, bro. This has nothing to do with him. I mean, yeah, he is the one who took the picture. Or not, he, he's not the one who took the picture. He's making it seem like I hope something happens to his house. Like, w w what the fuck do you expect, dude? Like, relax. My home, my wife, my family. You and me are going to have a problem. Haig's name was not mentioned in the article, which was about Judge Watson standing in a local homeowners association. But that doesn't stop him from continuing his attack. It's disgraceful. Well, buddy, it's personal. And I promise you, you will not hear the end of it from me. You know, when you threaten my family, I will personally see to it that you never see a free day in your life. Yo. You understand that? You're going to jail. I swear to God. Watkins eventually calms down and tries to get back on what track. What the fuck? You swear to me that gives me truth, whole truth, nothing but the true self of God. Yes. Miss Wallace, what's the nature of your motion? Yep. The closing attorney is requiring his signature. All right, Mr. Haig, what's your response? My response is I cannot sign this because it's against my conviction. Watkins rules against Haig and says he must sign the deed and pay a third party to expedite the process. I'm going to direct I'm not going to lie, Haig, I'm a little confused. Pay but... him the sum of $500 for his services no later than Friday. I'll sign it. I don't have that kind of money. I don't care. You'll find it. It's a damn lie, and you know it's a damn lie. I cannot. I'm about to shut up. I didn't tell you to talk. Did I tell you to talk? Oh, no. Nah. What did I tell you right at the beginning of the hearing? Are you deaf? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Nah, fuck this guy. The judge ultimately rules in favor of Lillian Haig and orders the pastor to pay a number of expenses once the house Bro. is sold. For shut what? Up. I didn't ask you to speak. But Haig has his own response when he files a complaint against Watkins with the Judicial Investigation Commission. Judge Watkins admits to overreacting and recuses himself Good. from the case. Fucking idiot. But it doesn't end there. It's later determined that Judge Watkins has a history of berating litigants and attorneys. Oh. I don't travel. Ma'am, I didn't ask you for a, a, a speech. I, I'm not. Well, Ma'am. You know, you say what, you think this is funny? You want to no, go to jail no, now? Sir, I don't. Then shut I don't up. Take his ass into custody. I'm tired of it. Watkins' case makes Yo. it to the West Virginia Court of Appeals, where he's censured for 24 violations. Good. Including his offensive language and failing to complete required tasks, like Damn. entering protective orders into the state's registry. Watkins is suspended without pay for the remaining four years of his term. What? Wait, wait. All he got from that, from being an actual prick and power, like, power writing? Mr. Reynolds. Like, all, all he got from that was, like, a fucking penalty with pay or whatever. What was it again? Wait. Say it. Pay for the remaining protective orders into the state's registry. Watkins is suspended without pay. Suspended without pay. That's all he got for four years? For the remaining four years of his term. That's it? I mean, I guess that's fair because, like, he didn't technically, like, commit a crime. But also, like, man was kind of rude. I mean, like, I, I would have just, like, ended his term right then and there. I mean, I guess it's the same thing. But it's also, like, I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't let that slide. Interesting. I have not had a drink since January 31st, 2019. Yo. Yo, who is your barber? That is a, like... That's like a that's like a crisp fucking on upside down you on your forehead. I can't talk. My forehead is huge. Columbus, so high. I wish I had that kind of hairline, bro. I wish I had something something low, bro. Like my hairline's fucked. Where fifty four year old Monica Hawkins is on the stand. Ohio. It's a peculiar position for her because most days she's on the other side of the bench as a family court judge. Really? Okay. So what landed this judge in the hot seat? I like her earrings. One year earlier, oh, police no. pulled over this vehicle after receiving a 911 call reporting an erratic driver. Oh, shit. The driver 
was Judge Monica Hawkins. What? After officers noticed the smell of alcohol coming oh, from the car, shit. Hawkins is asked to perform a variety of field sobriety nah, tests. Nah, she's drunk, bro. Nah, she's drunk. Nah, she's drunk. They don't go so well. It looks like this judge is going to jail. Wait a minute. I just, did she say MLP? And Hawkins remains fucking keyboard. Cool and collected. She can be heard humming a tune. When it's time to actually face the music, the judge refuses to cooperate. So what I'm going to ask is that you provide a breath sample, okay? And if you refuse, then your driver, your Ohio driver's license will automatically be suspended. Okay. Okay, so are you willing to provide a breath sample? No. No? So you're going to refuse? Yes. Okay, so you do understand that you will immediately be placed uh, under suspension for that? Yes. If we get a warrant for your blood draw, then you can't refuse. Mm -hmm. So, you're still willing to refuse? I mean, I, I mean, it, listen, I, I'm not the type of person to drive drunk, let's, I'll be honest. But if I, let's say hypothetically, if I was caught drinking and driving, right? Okay, let's, let's say this happens, all right? It's either they find out through the breathalyzer that I am drunk and I get arrested for it, or I get my license suspended for refusing. I would take the license suspended for refusing instead of going to jail. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, Even if we get you know what I mean? But like, also then, don't drink and drive, fucking idiot. And that we'll take you to the hospital and they will draw your blood. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you'd rather do than provide a blood, a, a breast sample. Yep. But then again, that does sound easier than going to uh, the hospital. And I, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's After crazy. a warrant is issued, Hawkins is taken to the hospital where she has to be. Yo, why is she dressed up like a Wookiee? <laughs> like why <laughs> head to toe built like a strained in order to have her blood drawn is that racist her blood no. alcohol level registers at 0.199 nearly two and a half times the damn limit. judge hawkins would later plead guilty to a misdemeanor for driving under the influence and she was sentenced to 90 days in jail with 87 of those suspended what in addition why to why like dude she was driving drunk why do you just why why does this court system fucking favor people like this dude this shit's annoying it was cold out over there i think okay i mean true but like she was built like three layers up like shrek like like that was that's a whole much but like maybe it's because i like the cold but also like like why eight she said she she spent three days in jail and i'm assuming she cried to the court and then she's like I'm sorry. And then they suspended her 87 days and were like, all right, fuck off. Like, seriously? Honkin she could have killed someone. Legal conviction, a judicial misconduct complaint was filed requiring her to go in front of the Ohio Board of Professional Conduct. And this time, Judge Hawkins adopts a much more humbling and cooperative approach. I've spent my whole life trying to do the next best thing. Shut the fuck up, Rudolph, with your red nose. Sorry. Perfect Sorry, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just like you could have fuck it. I, I, okay. When somebody knows they did something bad and they sit there and go, "I'm sorry," and like and like you know, like they try to hack all hard and shit because they're because they're like, "Oh, I'm a judge," or like, "Ooh, I, I'm this, I'm that," like suck my dick, and then like, just like I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I made a severe lapse in my judgment i didn't mean like shut up you know what you did was wrong you know that you got drunk and you got behind the wheel you dumb bitch like what are you gonna like come on really like i i just don't it's just like it's stupid when people do that like you know what you did was wrong oh, like stop sitting there trying to fake tears and shit like that unless i mean no, let, let me let me see this through hold on let me let me see this through. i have not had a drink since january 31st okay. 2000 okay 19. So you're telling the panel you've been sober since the date of the incident? You better not be yes, lying. I have been sober. All I can do is forgive myself and move forward and be the best judge I can be. I apologize for my statement. I will hear this out. Hawkins received a public reprimand, but because her charge was a misdemeanor and not a felony, she's allowed to keep her job. What? I mean, okay, fair. All right. Thanks for being a fan of court cam. Shut up. All right, you know what? All right, I apologize. I thought she was going to be one of those judges or it's like, I'm sorry. Because I seen another one where it was like there was like a judge who was like saying that, you know, she had to, you know, she had to fucking 
Like I, I, I seen some shit where I was like, this judge was trying to be like, act like this, this, this power hungry bitch and all that. And I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Long story short. I'm glad that, you know, she wasn't like that. That, that, that was good to see. I'm sorry, ma'am. You're probably never going to see this video, but I'm sorry. I take it back. You're pretty cool. All right. Just don't do that shit again. You dumbass. Don't do that again. Respect.